A young man has confessed to the police of stealing nearly 1.5 million worth of valuable items and cars from a Gambian US-based couple who have come to the Gambia for vacation. The deputy police PRO says the investigation of the police would inform their decision on the matter. The alleged thief broke into the house of one city of Mohammed Lamin Jaju and his wife on Wednesday, 18th January 2023, when the couple left their house to visit their families. Mr. Jaju says the thief got into the house after jumping over the compound fence and broke the windows between 1 p.m. to 6 p.m., a period he says the watchman was not around. The bag the thief made of it includes two laptops worth $1,200, two gold chain sets worth $3,500 and $500 respectively, four different kinds of watches including Apple and male diamond watches worth a combined 1,233, airport worth 250, a Gucci purse worth $1,079, two male designer perfumes worth $250, Aldo post worth $60, a silver crystal worth $33, and a whooping $15,800 of cash. Mm, there are a lot of things that were in that bag. Uh, one of the most uh, valuable one would be the money. Actually, uh, we unfortunately put $15,800 in that bag because I was going to take that money to the bank and then see how best I can change it or buy a property here. So my plan was to when I when I'm coming back when I came back from uh, actually when I come back from Sibano then I can change the money and then kind of like buy a property, but unfortunately fifteen thousand eight hundred dollar went missing. Sirifo, as it's popularly called, says his wife later called the police who came and did some survey and took fingerprints. I have something that was tracking the guy. The guy didn't actually know what was in that bag. Everything. But I got something that he was using that helped me a lot. So when I came in, I checked on my phone. The last location of whatever he was having was around Digante, which is between Sunchu Alaja and Sunchu Sori. Then we went there the following day with the anti-crime. We didn't see anything. Then I continued to track. The tracker told me that, uh, notified me that um, the guy is in Bansang. Then from Bansang to Barajeli. So those were the two locations where he was. So we decided to kind of like take a trip on Sunday to go to Bansang. So on our way to Bansang, you see the blessing of God, we were able to apprehend him and then. However, the thief was lavishly using the money with three other boys he was arrested with. He in fact bought a car for himself and several footwears this medium is made to understand. The couple have recovered some items and cars but that is less than 1% of what has been stolen, the victim says. Mr. Jaju and his wife are shocked to have lost those valuables and cars in such a manner, but called on authorities to appropriately do the needful to such seasoned and unremorseful thieves. He wants his money and items back. The, judici the judiciary of the country, they need to help a lot. Because this guy is a seasoned criminal. Even he knows people from the anti-crime. They recognize him. He recognizes them. They know his name. He know, he knows their name. So which tells me that okay, this guy is someone who has been going in and out of jail. So these are the people that you should not allow them to be roaming within the society. They are threat to the society. You understand? These people are threat to the society. They need to be put at one place. These are people where by the, judici the judiciary, they need to kind of like sentence them minimum five to six years with hard labor. The thief has told the police that he has a sense of knowing where money is and whenever his instincts tell him there is money at a particular place, he gets there at any cost. Reporting for the Fatu Network, I'm Usman Serikan.